And hello guys, welcome back to our open form discussion. So today we want to talk a little bit about um, making a script for vector addition. So um, we have already made a function called vector length, and this is the L equals to uh, some vector. Okay, but in this video we don't want to do anything about it. So um, what I've done is to basically um, copy this vector length dot c plus plus into vector addition dot c plus plus okay and that's all we are doing there okay so we can start editing our file as follows so first thing I want to do is to just comment these away I want to comment uh, this uh, length calculation all right so um, yeah we want to and we just comment away the length calculation and we want to add two vectors of uh, 3 and 1 alright so first thing we want to do is to have our vectors put into this main workspace right this main script so we have one vector already so we can just call it vector 1 so this is the first vector okay so vector 1 so let and to give us some indication we can actually print C out we are adding vector 1 to vector 2 they are in X they each have three rows and one column so this is how I'm going to tell people, hey, uh, I'm just having, we're having a very specialized vector addition kind of thing. So we start simply and because the generalization will be another layer of complications. All right. Because there is no, uh, unlike in MATLAB, there is no uh, standard, um, uh, there's no um, universal um, vector addition kind of formula. You kind of have to code it in yourself. But that makes C++ very highly customizable, and that makes it so powerful. Unfortunately, you have, it means you have to do a lot of work just to get simple things done. So you might have heard of it before. So yeah, this is experiencing it for real. So let's put uh, let's put uh, this vector one input x vector one input y and vector one input z so again i'm going to uh, do this vector two input x and line and you just remember to put always put a semicolon almost like matlab except matlab semicolon is just to suppress output okay so we'll need to define the, the um, vector here so there are two ways we can do it. We can either do a double vector two, and we just do the same thing, three and one here. Okay, we do a double vector and three and one here, and that will actually give us the next vector that we can start adding. So or uh, else we can just put a vector one and a vec comma vector two. Either way will work. All right, so I'll just leave it like that in vector 2 so 0 0 semicolon C out so I'm gonna print vector 2 input okay forgot this vector 2 input Y and line C in vector 2 1 second row and zero okay so I'm gonna save by pressing W um, and again C out print vector to input Z and line C in vector to two zero all right so um, 
Now I, I need to get the vector in. I need to get the vector in into a vector edi addition kind of a formula. And okay, so what I need to do is to have some kind of function that outputs a vector, which uh, is in a double kind of form. So I have a double vector add, okay, of something, okay, and I'll put two curly braces, all right, and I will need to return something. So for now, I will just return vector, uh, vector add result, and I'll define it as a double. Result, uh, okay, in this case, very specific, I'm just going to do three and one, okay. Okay, so again, we need to define it on top. Okay, so now we're adding lots of functions in. Okay. Uh, we just do a semicolon there. And what will be the input? We will need to have a vector 1 and a vector 2. Or we can put a vector A. Okay, let's undo that. Insert, and we put a vector A as a first input, vector B as a second input. And this, bear in mind, will need to be doubles in nature and a vector input. And a double in nature, a vector input as well. Okay, so we'll need to copy and paste that down. double vector A. So you need to specify the input type. All right. So before I start adding anything, I'm just going to do some quick debugging. So in case there is some syntax error, meaning to say I type my code wrongly, I'm just going to start with a very simple thing. So vector add result. Well, how will I define it? I'll just use the vector A. All right. All right. See whether see whether this actually churns out an error for me for us, and then we can try and uh, sort out that error. So, what what this code is supposed to do is supposed to take in some vector A. All right. Is going to define this uh, vector at result, which is supposed to be ideally we code the vector addition result to um, to add vector a and b, which are three row one column vectors. In this case, of course, we are not generalizing yet because that's another uh, step complication step, you know. So vector addition result will be just the vector a. That's what we want to do. Whether the syntax is correct, we will find out later. All right, so let's go and see whether G++ uh, vector addition, addition.c++ uh, will work. Okay, so with the output of uh, vector add, so this, this is the script here in green, but I'm just going to overwrite it. All right, so we have this uh, we have this uh, uh, error that comes out, and it says uh, you expect uh, it's a primary uh, what is it? It's in uh, fifty seven. Okay, where's the fifty seven? Let's go and take a look. So you can take a look at the line number here. So you can go to line 57, and this is line 57. Okay, so 57 has something wrong. So we will need to uh, debug this thing and see 
what uh, how we can do something about it. All right. So anyway, uh, since we have um, we have something that going that's going wrong with this line, we can use this as a opportunity to start uh, our introduction to the for loop. All right. So um, for loop is uh, defined like this. You can see here for int i equals one to i less than or equal to six. Um, you print this um, whatever value, you print the value of i and then you keep repeating that. Okay. Now normally in um, MATLAB or even in uh, Excel VBA, you will have um, a starting i value and an ending i value. So from i equals 1 to 6, okay, um, you, you, you keep adding the i after each for loop. But C++ has this additional I++ thing here. What is this I++ thing? Well, I++, it just means this. All right. I'll just, just briefly write here, but I'm not going to demonstrate too much. Okay. Or rather, I can just write it here. And I'm out. I'll write it here at the bottom. Okay. I++, right? So if we have an integer variable of I, and then we say i plus plus. What does i plus plus mean? Okay, i, I plus plus means basically this i equals to i plus one. So now um, these two statements are essentially equivalent. So integer of i, okay, and we let's say we start with a value of zero, right? We start with a value of zero and then um, we tell it okay normally we'll write this i equals to i plus one that means it takes the value of uh, it takes it redefines i as a new value and it says um, the original value of i is zero and then we add one to it and that becomes the new value of i okay but since this is so commonly done in c++ or programming language now c++ has a very interesting way of doing this truncating this expression you can just do i plus plus to mean this i equals to i plus one that's all it means so when we have this for loop here what it's saying is that okay it starts at i equals one it ends at i less than and it keeps going while i is less than or equal to six all right so this is um it starts at i plus one and it uh continues when i is less than or equal to six and after each loop i equals to i plus one meaning to say the value of i increases for each loop so this is what a for loop uh, looks like of course you can actually customize how many i's it jumps this time around so that makes it more uh, customizable than the regular for loop all right so um yeah let, let's let's try doing that okay So let's see, I'm going to delete or comment this line away. And I'm going to delete these lines since the explanation is already finished. So uh, let's have a four. All right. So remember from this website, the beginnersbook.com. So we have a bracket. All right. Integer i equals one to i less than or equal to six. Uh, then we have this i plus plus. All right. So um, for a three call three three uh, three row two column vector, uh, three row one column vector. This is how we will write it. We have the bracket first, and then we have curly braces. Okay. All right. So i okay. We first say integer i. So it starts at zero because that's the index. And then it goes, it keeps iterating while i is less than 3. Why is i is less than 3? Um, because i, we, we want i to represent 0, 1, and 2. So it starts at 0, and then the next element is 1, then the following element is 2. So i is always less than 3. So again, at, 
uh, that's why we are doing it as such. So again, we start at i goes to zero, and it keeps going till i is less than as long as i is less than three. So we have it as such i plus plus for every loop. Okay, for every loop i will be uh, i plus plus. That means i equals to i plus one. This is our standard for loop kind of a thing. All right, so what what will this be? Okay, so we can say vector at result um, what is this it will be i it starts at 0 and goes all the way up to 3 so vector at result i 0 equals to what shall we use to define it? vector 1 okay i and 0 okay so that's all there is for the for loop. So what I'm doing here is to say vector at result i0 is equals to vector 1 i0. So that means how it will iterate? It will look for the vector 1 i0. In initially it will be vector 1 0 0. So i equals 0 at first. So vector 1 uh, at result 0 0 equals to vector 1 0 0. Then after this finish, it will uh, complete the loop and i will be equal to i plus 1 now i equals 1 at the next uh, iteration so vector at result 1 0 equals to vector 1 1 0 and the next loop vector at result 2 0 will equals vector 1 2 0 so that is what this thing is supposed to spit out so this is just copying one vector into another vector there's no addition yet but I can see quite easily how addition would be like. All right, so let's do a uh, let's look do a at result. Okay, and we'll define it as a double, and this will be a three, three and one, and that will be equal to vector underscore add. All right, vector one, comma, vector two. Okay, so let me end that statement with a semicolon. So what this function ideally should do is to assign the value based on vector one and two. So there'll be vector one and two inputs. And then this vector addition should, no, it's not addic actually adding yet. You just uh, get this vector at result, i zero, uh, from this uh, vector 1, i0. Alright, I'm going to stop here. So in the next video, we're going to see whether this code works and then we're going to continue refining it until it works uh, to our desired results and achieves our desired results. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.